Hello everyone, my name is Kate and you're welcome to Gift Fancy Culture. So in today's tutorial, I want to show you how I achieved this palazzo pleated jumpsuit. Okay, the basic steps actually used. Okay, so if please, if this is your first time of coming across my channel, please do want to subscribe so you can always get notified whenever I post a new video. Alright, and to my old subscribers, I really appreciate you are the reason I keep on going. Please don't forget to share, like, comment. All right, so let's get started. So I actually did um, a few second videos so on how to take your waist measurement, your hips, and your thigh. Okay, so the first thing I did was to measure my waist just like the way I see it on the screen. So after measuring my waist, I went ahead to measure my hips. All right, so just like what you are seeing, it does not have to be too tight. No. It has to have a little bit of heat, alright. So you can see the way I measure it, alright. You don't have to grip yourself or your client, no. So the next thing, go ahead and measure your thigh, just like place your tape roll in between your laps, just like you're seeing it on the screen, and measure. It doesn't have to be too thigh, too tight, rather, alright. Just, just like that, it has to be. Um, it has to have a little bit of his okay after that we can see if you didn't get it the first time this is how to place your tape roll and measure your thigh okay and there's a measurement for it that you can know how to place it which is called the crotch how to get your crotch so if it's your first time please let's get started the first thing I did was to measure the length okay the length of the trouser so after i finished measuring the length of the trouser i went ahead to measure two inches okay since it's a palazzo trouser okay i measure two inches all the way downward because it's not um the two inches is not actually part of my waist measurement is not part it's not going to be part of your measurement go ahead and measure your waist to so see on the waistline this is what you are going to do since it has plates on both sides both front and back so i just assume that the plate is like four inches so i added four inches there on my left side on my right side the front and the back all right so the total of plates i added was actually 16 and my waist is 29 all right so I actually added that 16 to 29 and i sum it up so after everything i divided by four just like our normal measurement is so i went ahead to mark it and then i added 1.5 inch to it just like what you are seeing on the screen so the 1.5 is actually for sewing allowance okay so after i finished doing that so that is actually my waistline okay so after i finished doing that i went ahead to measure my hip marked which is eight inches downward and then i measured my thigh after measuring my thigh i went ahead to measure my crotch okay now how to get your crotch divide your hip by three whatever you have you place it and mark it below your hips measurement just like what you're seeing on the screen so my hip is actually 37 divided by um three i got 12 point something so I went ahead to measure my knee length measurement, all right, just like what you're seeing it on the screen. So on the waist measurement, that's the waist. So the next measurement is the hip. So whatever I had, I brought it down. Go ahead and bring it down to the hip. Since it's going to have plates and on the thigh measurement, my thigh is actually 23. So I didn't use 23. I made it the total of 25 because of that plate. All right, I didn't use the exact measurement. Okay, so I went ahead to connect the thigh to the hips and then to my waist. So I actually used the same measurement all the way down to my um, trouser length because they will, I'm not going to pencil it. All right, it's not a fitted trouser. All right, so basically, I'm done. I'm done. So I went ahead to remove one inch from this side. So and connect since it's not a fitted trouser. So and connect to meet the two inches I had it. Okay, it's, it's a palazzo trouser. 
So I went ahead to connect it just like you are seeing it on the screen. And after I finished doing that, I went ahead to cut the fabric, cut out the front. So what I'm basically doing here is just to align the chalk so that I'll be able to know what to cut. So after I finished doing that, I went ahead to cut it out. After I'm done cutting, I went ahead to fold the front to the back and I had a 3.5 on the tie measurement, on the crotch rather. Okay, and on the length, on the knee length, I had a 2.5 all the way down. Just like what you are seeing on the screen. Okay, the 2.5 I added is actually for the um, seam allowance. And for the 3.5 I added to the crotch measurement is for the, um, you know, the back has... The back is bigger than the front okay the back is bigger than the front both so that's basically it and on the hip line I added two inches and then connect it so adding this measurement determines what you are going to show all right okay so now I added 1.5 I mean two inches on the hip so I'm going to show 0 0.6 0 0.6 all the way okay so I went ahead to connect. You can see there is no allowance. I didn't add any allowance to the back because I've already added one. I mean, allowance to the um, front. So I just connected it and so that's after it. Done. I picked the front since it's going to have the pocket. It's going to have pocket, okay? And I place it just like you're seeing it on the screen. So I went ahead to mark one inch downward. So away from that one inch, I marked six point five, which is going to be where the pocket is going to stop and i notch where i i marked just like what you're seeing it on the screen so after so that's exactly where the pocket is going to be and i'm going to show you don't worry i'm going to show you how to sew it so i went ahead to cut the upper bodies okay now i actually use 13 inches um like from my shoulder from the midpoint of my shoulder to where i want it to stop okay to so where i want it to stop I got for 13 and from that 13 I marked like 2 inches which is going to um, I'm going to use for the slanting I have to follow this method I measured I divided my um, shoulder into two okay just like what you're seeing it and I marked my neckline I just used 2.5 to get the neck um, to to get the neck measurement all right so I actually did this so I can also that I'll be able to know how the slanting is going to be so from there i marked i connected it to meet the midpoint so after i finished doing that i went ahead to place my tape rule on on that shoulder line and i got exactly one inch and that was correct okay so i went ahead to add half inch below the one inch and i connected it to meet the neck to meet the neckline okay so after i, I was done doing that I went ahead to measure my bust point, just like what you're seeing it on the screen. I measure my bust point, which is 10. Okay. So I went ahead to measure my bust point. I went ahead to measure my waistline because those are the um, few measurements that we need. My full front length, or which is also called the half length. Just like what you are seeing on the screen, mine is 17 and I connected the lines. So on the bust line measurement, I divided my bust into two. My bust is actually 34, so I divided it into two and I got 8.5. So after I was done doing that, after I marked that, I added one inch for seam allowance. So I went to my waist measurement, I divided my waist, which is 29, into two. I added one inch for the seam allowance and if you check the picture closely you, you are going to see that so I added one inch extra for the that allowance and after I was done I went ahead to connect the lines together just like you are seeing it on the screen okay to meet the boss point so after I was done the measurement I had which is 13 I brought it to the it down to the bust point and so i can connect you know it's actually an extended shoulder all right so i connected it just like what you're seeing it on the screen you can see it's already giving so after i was done note i didn't put any extra allowance i went ahead to connect the armhole to meet 
the boss point just like what you're seeing on the screen and i connected it just like you're seeing okay so after i was done i i had it two inches okay i had it two inches because it's going to be a turn up sleeve just like you're seeing on the screen and extended the the lines so after i was done i went ahead and cut it you can see the way i cut it i didn't cut it out i didn't cut everything out i folded it so that when i'm doing the turn up it will be able to overlap very well because after i finished folding the paper i was able to cut the shoulder line just like you are seeing it on the screen i cut it out and after i was done cutting i went ahead to notch it i was just being careful so that when i'm sewing to be able to align properly so after that i went ahead to cut it just like you are seeing it on the screen and i went ahead to place the front to cut the back it's actually the same thing but the difference is just going to be um the um seam allowance so on the back shoulder i actually pin it just like the way you're seeing it on the screen and i removed a minus one inch because you know the back is not straight all right so just like what you are seeing it on the screen i removed one inch and i connected the one inch to meet the boss point all right because i didn't want it i don't like my clothes bulging so this is the best way to remove that on your clothes all right so I went ahead to cut it out just like you're seeing it on the screen and that was it. So after I finished cutting it out, I went ahead to add one inch. You can see you can see the way it is. The, the back is not straight. It can never be straight again because I've already removed one inch from as if that. Okay. I, I went ahead to add one inch which is going to use as a seam. I mean the zip allowance. I made marked one inch all the way up and then after I was done I went ahead to place it place the paper just like the way you are seeing it on the screen I went ahead to connect the lines you can see the lines how it is and this is the outcome of the one inch the line is no more straight all right so after I was done like that I went ahead to use my pin and pin it carefully okay so that it won't um, in, interrupt um, the measurement I went ahead to use my pins and pin it carefully and after I was done I went ahead to cut it just like the way you're seeing it on the screen so after I was done cutting I went ahead to place the paper the pattern paper on my fabric and I cut okay before I went into that I went ahead to um, measure the length of the um, the upper part which is actually um, 17 inches remember there is no seam allowance yet like the joining allowance so I'm going definitely going to add half inch for the joining allowance okay so after that I removed my pins and you know we have the nap to waist the front and the back measurement cannot be the same so from there my nap to waist is actually um 15 and my full front length is 17 so i went ahead to mark my full front length measurement and my back nap to waist measurement and i connect it i did that so i can have that so that the clothes should be able to lay perfectly well without bulging so without bulging and i went ahead to remove it and placing the front to the back you notice that the back is still longer than the front and that's cool so i did that so that when i sew the clothes my nap to waist should be on my should be on the hollow part of the body so if you are yet to know how to measure your nap to waist measurement i have um a five minutes video that i did okay just go you see it as one of my videos there so after i was done doing that i went ahead to measure my bust span remember i had it one inch for the dart okay i went ahead to measure my bust span which is 3.5 and on that bust span measurement i place it and share the dart which is half inch on the other side half inch on this side all right 
so I measured the bust span just like you are seeing it on the screen half inch on the other side and half inch on this side so I connected the lines just like that okay after I was done connecting the lines I picked the bag as well and actually did the same thing you know I added one inch one one inch for the dart okay so now the good thing about this dart sewing is that when I'm going to sew the dart measurement it's not going to be the actual measurement that is there but stay tuned I will do this together so I went ahead to measure the same the, the same 3.5 on on that 3.5 which is the boss pan I shared the one inch on both sides just like what you are seeing on the screen and that was it I ma maintained the 3.5 and connected the lines actually forgot I should have done this before I removed the dab but it's, there's no big deal there so after connecting the lines so that was it okay so after i finish swing it's going to go back to my actual measurement i went ahead to measure the neck you know actually used to i used 2.5 initially so because the neck is not too wide i went ahead to expand it to three inches three inches as the width and three inches as the length of the neck so after i finished doing that i went ahead to measure my three inches just like what you are seeing on the screen actually forget that forgot that that the one inch is not part of it sorry guys so it's going to be cancelled definitely so i went ahead to increase the neckline away from the um, um zipper allowance and then brought it down by 1.5 and connected the lines just like the way you are seeing it on the screen after i was done doing that i went ahead to cut it both front and the back neck and on the front neck you know it has a little v there has a little opening i used actually i used um half inch before but at some point i felt like okay it's going to be too small so i had to increase it to one inch and actually make i use um the neck 7.5 the length of the neck okay now i use one inch all right then i went ahead to place my table and the total of what i cut there is actually 7.5 like from my shoulder to there is 12 7.5 and that was it so i went ahead to maintain my neck okay just like folded my dart after i finished doing that i went ahead to cut the fabric you can see i also cut facing because i didn't want um seam allowance okay there was i didn't want to use lining and after i was done i went ahead to cut um gum the facing just like the way you are seeing it on the screen using my paper stay okay so you can see and after i was done doing that i went ahead to pick the front and place the facing on it like the right side to the right side just like what you are seeing it on the screen okay and i used my pin to pin it down like pin the V down so that it won't shift so after I was done I went ahead to sew the, both the front and the back and I went ahead to notch it after I finished notching it I went ahead to top stitch the facing just like you are seeing it on the screen and after I was done doing that I went ahead to high on it you can see the facing is already giving the I've given giving it a press everything is pressed down the front v it's well ironed and that was it after i was done i picked one of the back and it was time for me to um join the shoulder it's either you join the facing to facing or the fabric to itself but i actually choose picking one of the facing to join the shoulder just like the way you're seeing it on the screen okay instead of sewing facing to facing and the cloth to itself after i was done doing that i went ahead to do the second one as well and that was it i went ahead to high on it okay after i finished high ironing it i went ahead to weave it so this is the best way to do your to sew your clothes when you are sewing make sure you weave it make sure you iron it okay 
so i went ahead to pick up the pattern paper to measure the dart now the dart is actually 6.5 okay including the seam allowance making seven but as it is i'm not going to sew the exact seven inches okay so i'm going to minus one inch from it okay and sew six inches so i'm going to minus one inch and sew six inches let's say um the that is 6.5 with 6.5 on your own you can minus one inch and sew 5.5 inches it doesn't have to get to the apex what i mean the apex is actually the boss your nipple measurement after i was done doing that look at it i've gone ahead to weave it and it was time to 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 fold the two inches i'm going to use for the um show the for this sleeve turning okay remember i added two inches okay so i went ahead to measure it i made sure i cross check it properly and went ahead to iron it then folded like 0 0.2 or no, it was not up to half inch and iron it properly after i was done doing that i went ahead to sew it and after i finished sewing it i went ahead to fold it into two and then stitch where the joining actually starts from just like the way you're seeing it on the screen so after i was done doing that i went ahead to do the second side just like we didn't get the first one i believe you can get it from this second one i went ahead to fold it in and then folded it divided into two and that was it and i stitch it properly and neatly i iron it carefully just like the way you are seeing it on the screen so i'm going to go ahead and still iron it late properly you can see the way it is so after i was done doing that i went ahead to sew the side remember i had it one inch for the seam allowance so after i was done sewing it i went ahead to weave it just like the way you are seeing it on the screen and iron it properly so it was time for us to um, notch sew the trouser so don't forget i notch the front so i went ahead to um fold fabric you remember i we are going to put pockets so the length of the pocket is actually 12.5 while the width is 6.5 just like you're seeing it on the screen for a female um pocket actually use 12.5 for the length and the width is 6.5 so after i was done i went ahead to cut it after i finished cutting it i make sure i notch where the pocket is going to start so what i did was i measured one inch okay one inch like that and i went ahead to notch it so after i was not done notching I went ahead to pick the front okay and the first thing I did was to sew 0 0.6 all the way to the crotch measurement and after I was done it was time for us to fix the pocket so there are different types of pocket we have the slanted pocket we have this inner pocket just like this one we are about to do okay I went ahead to pick one of the pockets and then use it okay now the pocket is the right side to the right side so go ahead and sew 0 0.6 from where you notch just like the way and to where it is that's 6.5 so make sure you notch where the pocket is going to stop all right so after i was done doing that i went ahead to sew it okay after i finished sewing it i notch it go ahead and notch your pocket notch it to where the sewing stops please do not notch it to be more than where you where you've sewn on. so after you are done go ahead and go ahead and um top stitch the pocket just like you are seeing it on the screen pick the uh, inner pocket and top stitch after i was done just like the way you are seeing it i did not sew them together i only picked the inner pocket and sew and that was it so the next thing i did was to pick the pocket again just like the way you're seeing it on the screen and join it to the side to the other part you can see the where um the pocket is already there okay just go ahead and sew it okay see after i finish sewing you sew from there you stop there 
and you continue from you skip the you skip the sewing and then you continue from where it's opening and then stop there so after you are done like you've sewn like one inch okay away from the opening go ahead and notch your pocket so what you're notching is actually going to be more than what you've um it's going to be more than what you've sewn let's just say you actually sew um, 0 0.6 so what you are going to cut is going to be like let's say 1.5 okay and then go ahead flip the pocket outside put your hand and then sew it just like what you are seeing on the screen so we are done sewing the pockets now okay so go ahead and do the same thing on the other side so you can see so after i was done you can see the pocket is there it's giving so but do not sew the pocket on the trouser do not okay because you are going to plate it after if we finish plating the pocket that we can sew it down so remember my waist is 29 so remember my waist is 29 all right and they i actually put four inches excluding the seam allowance okay so i'm going to go ahead and mark the four inches and then it so if I make fold it into two, it's going to give me two inches or a total of two inches. So the thing is, you can put more than this if you want, if depending on how big you want it. If you feel like the two inches is too much, the four in inches is too much, okay, just reduce it to three or you reduce it like you reduce it, okay. So I actually use four inches, and after I I finished doing that I went ahead to notch it and then use my pin to fold it sew it down just like the way you are seeing on the screen so after I was done doing that I went ahead to iron it carefully all right I used my pin to pin it down not I just actually did that to get the measurement I went ahead to iron it properly after I was done ironing the pleat just like you're seeing it on the screen i made sure i iron it i maintained the measurement okay i went ahead to do the same thing on this other side i went ahead to measure 1.5 that the distance is actually 1.5 i wanted it to align properly okay so i went to the other side to mark um the same 1.5 okay that i used there and then so from that 1.5 that's where the plating is going to stop i went ahead to make mark four inches at the end of the day and then folded the pleats just like what you are seeing on the screen please if you are going to do this just be careful all right so let the pleats align now the total of what i have now is actually two inches okay you know four divided by two is two inches so after i was done i went ahead to you use my pin to pin it just like the way i did on the first part and then iron it properly okay i just have to do that to cross check my waist measurement all right so that i won't go and hold more than what i put you know in sewing it is what you put the measurement you use that's what you are going to sew so i went ahead to iron it just like the way i did in the first one so i made sure i iron it properly so now you can now fold your pocket inside and sew it so after i was done doing that i went ahead to place it on my waist and you can see it was actually giving me what i wanted okay so i went ahead to continue with the bag so the first thing i did i measured um seven inches away um, which is going to serve as my zipper allowance all right and then i will start sewing from there to the crotch measurement so after i was done doing that i went ahead to iron it iron the measurement just like what you're seeing on the screen the first just like the way i measured i measured 1.5 away from there and then go ahead to measure the four inches which is the plate i put I hope you are getting it. I hope this is making sense. I went ahead to measure the um, pleats I put and then folded it just like use my pin to pin it properly and then folded it just like the way I did it and then iron it. 
I just had to use my tape to confirm the measurement so that it's not after I finish sewing that I will not notice excess. I needed to do that. So just like the way I did, I went ahead to do the other side too. And that was it. Okay, I needed to align it properly. If we didn't get the first one, you can see the way I'm doing the second one, all right? So after I finished doing that, I marked out where I'm going to sew. And that was it. I went ahead to iron it, pin it right away, all right? So after I was done pinning it, I went ahead to iron it. I had to do this. and I, I didn't have to wait for... For me to join the seam allowance before doing anything so after i was done i went ahead to um join the side just like what you are seeing it on the screen join the side just like that and then boom that was it so after i finished joining the side i went ahead to um weave it give it a thorough weaving after i finished weaving i went ahead to iron it properly and after i was done ironing i went ahead i picked the front and joined to the down part of the trouser and it, it was given so after everything i decided to wear it. it was not too tight all right so this is the outcome i hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get notification whenever i post a new video thank you for your patience do well to subscribe comment and share thank you